Are you looking for the safest, most efficient way to load chickens for processing? At Heifer USA, we've developed a system that allows us to load over 4,000 birds in just a few hours. Whether you raise a few backyard chickens or hundreds of broilers on pasture, this loading system will ensure that your next chicken catch goes smoothly and quickly. In this video, we'll teach you how to prepare your birds for departure, catch your chickens quickly, and load your birds safely for processing. Stay tuned until the end of this video to see how you can get a free copy of our broiler transport report and checklist to ensure your chickens are loaded safely and securely for transportation to processing. Now let's load some chickens. Hey everyone, I'm Sam Noble here at Heifer USA. I'm the poultry production specialist and today we're going to be talking about how we catch our chickens prior to sending them to the processing plant. We'll be catching the chickens after dark because having it dark outside creates kind of a calming experience for the chickens and it kind of puts them in a little bit of a sleep mode so that they don't struggle as much as they would if we were to be catching them if it was bright outside. On the day of chicken catching, a trailer full of empty crates arrives on the ranch and we will drive them directly out to the pasture, bring them right up to the schooners and drop off the appropriate number of empty crates for each schooner, which usually is anywhere from from 70 to 85 crates, depending on how many chickens we have. What we do once the crates are down by the schooners, we set up a U-shape or a horseshoe shape around one side of the schooner. So what we will do is park the tractor on the front end of the schooner and make the U-shape catching pen around the back side of the schooner. So when it comes time for the chickens to be outside of the schooner for catching, they have a place to be inside a contained area. Prior to moving the schooners off of the chickens, we raise the skirt up on the catch pen side. We use chains that are screwed into the skirt that itself and raise it up and hook it to the schooner. That way the skirt is flapped upwards and the chickens can safely go underneath the schooner boards without getting hit. And then once the tractor pulls the schooner off, the chickens are completely outside. Once the crates are all set up, the tractor backs up to the schooner and we hook it up to our cable. Then we have between three and six people take six crates because the schooner is six crates wide. We take those crates and build a barrier inside the schooner. That way they can help usher the chickens to the outside. Then the schooner will be pulled forward while the chickens stay in place and the people inside with the crates ensure that the chickens don't go past the crates on the other side, on the back side of them. As the schooner is being pulled forward, we do have bars that need stepping over, so they will lift the crates over the bars. Then the chickens will slide underneath the raised skirt and will eventually be outside. Next, it's time to catch our chickens. So we will use the crates that we built our pen out of. We will bring the crate over as close to the chickens as possible. Each crate has a door on top of it, and then we will take the chicken closest to us, grab it around its whole body, around its wings so it can't flap, and let its legs dangle. Place the chicken gently into the crate. We put between seven and eight chickens based on the outside temperatures. We'll put eight chickens per crate if it's normal normal temperatures, normal humidity and everything. We'll put seven chickens per crate if they're oversized or if it's high temperatures above 80 degrees. If your chickens are above seven pounds, we recommend you put seven birds per crate in that instance as well. Once all the chickens are crated up, we have the trailer pull up directly to the schooners as close as he can to the crates. We will have two people work together to carry each individual crate. The two people will stand on either side of the crate and walk it over to the trailer and set it on top of the trailer. They will pass it to the next two people that are on top of the trailer. The two people on the trailer that are stacking the crates will make sure that the crates are locked in place so that the crates cannot slide around or move or fall over. For this chicken catch night, we are stacking the chickens five high and we will have an empty layer for the sixth layer. We put this extra layer of empty chicken crates on top of the chickens. That way when the driver puts a tarp on top of the chickens, they have that extra barrier for airflow. 
Once all the chickens are put onto the trailer, we use this form as our broiler transport checklist. This form will help us to keep track of how many chickens we have, how many crates we had. We also use this checklist at the bottom that will help us to determine that we are following the appropriate guidelines depending on the outside temperatures, as well as some things for the drivers to follow along as well. To claim your free copy of this valuable document, click the link in the description of this video. Lastly, the driver straps the crates onto the trailer and then we're ready to haul them off to the processor. That is how we catch our chickens here at Heifer USA. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Keep learning about pastured poultry with this video, a guide to moving your chicks out to pasture, or this one, a free tour of a poultry farm that raises over 30,000 chickens each year.